Okay. Um, I'm moving my camera, so maybe we can do the swatches better. Okay. So this third little palette here. Let me show you the back of them, too. Okay, the first one is called Serengeti Sand. This one right here. Okay, and I'm just going to swatch that so you can see it better now. Okay, then below that one is called Rocky Mountains. Okay, then the top one right here is called Buckingham Palace. And then the bottom one is called Bordeaux. It's a very deep black purple. It's kind of like Max Beauty Mart. Gives you that impression because you see how purple it is. Okay, and, and Ambitious is the blush. Okay. And the last little palette are these colors. There's the back. Okay, the first one up here is called Gold Coast. So let me clean off my hand here. I think I need to get me some of those wet wipes and try that. Okay, Gold Coast. And then the bottom one is called Space Needle. That one you can't hardly see. It's a taupey color. Then Eiffel Tower is the like a really gray color, bluish gray. And then the last one is called Midnight in Paris. And it really looks like a really dark green but it might be a blue and then the blush is called lighthearted so it's very pink really bright pink it's very pretty okay and since I moved the camera I'm going to go ahead and show you these up close again. This was the second one. And then the first one I did. Okay, now I'm going to pull out this little bottom here and the lip glosses. I'm not going to swatch them because they're glosses, but um, When in Rome is this one. Okay, and the next one is check me out this is the color and then the last one is called New York Minute and that's all that was in that box today so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've got to figure out a way to, to be able to do my swatches better. and 
all that. Um, but anyway, um, the lipstick that I'm wearing today, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. It, um, it's the Revlon and it's in 660 and it's called Berry Halt. Um, I'm usually afraid to wear colors like this, but I just thought, well, you know, let's just give it a try. You can't never tell, you know, um, different formulas. Um, this is, uh, by Revlon, so evidently it's an okay color for me. But, um, I think, uh, L'Oreal has one too that I want to try. It's about the same color just to see, you know, if it looks just as good or whatever. But, um. Anyway, I tried to put up a video last night, and it was too long. Uh, well, actually, I started night before last. And um, so, evidently, 25 minutes is too long. I was trying to do a get ready with me, and I was slow, you know, my first get ready with me. But um, it wouldn't upload. It just, I guess it kept getting hung up because it was so long. So, um, hopefully, this video goes up without a problem. And um, I guess I just... I'm going to have to try to make my videos a little bit shorter than that. Figure out a way to do a get ready with me. Um, maybe just with the eyeshadow and stuff since I've already done a routine on my Estee Lauder how I wear that. But anyway, um, I appreciate you guys subscribing and um, I appreciate all your comments. And if you have any ideas that you'd like for me to do, just let me know. And uh, one of my subscribers asked about my hair. And my daughter, actually, um, we were at the beauty salon, and she pulled this picture up. And she said, Mom, why don't you get your hair cut like this? So I did. So I'm going to try to find out uh, from her um, who the picture was of so that I can share that with you. Um, but on my hair, all I used, I used the Aveeno um, Nourishing Shampoo uh, to wash my hair. And I used the conditioner, you know, to condition it. Um, I put a Redken cream in my hair and a Redken, um, it's like a cream heat protectant in my hair when it's damp. And then I just straight iron it and that's about all I do to it. Um, so there's really nothing, you know, that hard about it. But, um, I will find out for you though, um, the picture so that, um, you can, you know, since you like it, you can have your hair cut this way or whatever. And um, there's n there's really nothing that I tell her to do to it. I just showed her that picture, and this is what I got. And it's pretty well spot on, so I've been enjoying it. Um, I was trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I do have some MAC stuff that I picked up that I'll have to um, do a little haul on. Um I got it at the uh, OCC, and so, um, I don't know why I keep saying um all the time. It's just, every time I say something, it's um, um, um. I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, uh, I, that's who I am, so just um, leave me some comments, you know, tell me some things you'd like for me to do. I'm trying to learn to put those links like to the girls that I watch on YouTube down in, in my description box. I'm trying to um, put a link to my Ipsy, you know, because I do, I do get the Ipsy bag, so I want to do that. And um, I really need to learn how to edit my videos. And so, but anyway, I just appreciate it. Um, you know, you guys keeping up with me and um, just subscribe if you want to continue. And I guess I will talk to you later. Love you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.